Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt and today I'm going to be teaching you about functions on Roblox. So functions are a very fundamental concept in scripting and you'll have to know what they are to be able to write clean and concise code. So to start what I'm going to do is create a new script under server script service and let's just name this script functions. Now what a function is, is really just a grouping of code that makes it more efficient and more easy to write code. So an example of a function would be function is your keyword and then you give the function a name, so something meaningful. So for now I'm just going to say function1 and now we put two parentheses just so that the computer knows it's a function and then we press enter and then it adds an end so it knows where the function ends. So inside of this right here is any code that will run when we do something called calling the function. Now calling the function, all it does is we just say function1 or whatever the function name is and then we put parentheses and that all that will do is run whatever code is inside of here. So if we said print hello world and that was the code that was inside of function1, whenever we call it you'll see when we go into the game it will print down here hello world. Now we can call the function as many times as we want. So instead of saying print hello world five times in a row, we can just say function one, function one, function one, function one. And of course, normally you'd have things spaced out throughout your code and you'd call these in different spots. But if you had a lot of lines of code inside of here, maybe you printed hello world and then maybe you printed one plus one and then maybe you printed true and you had all this code, as you see, it's a lot quicker to just call the function one five times than have all this code five times in a row. And if we'll go in, you'll see it'll run all that code five times, all the code inside the loop. So functions are really cool like this, but there's another portion of functions that's also really important, and that's called returning. And what returning does is sets whatever variable you put before the function to the output of the function. So an example would be, we could define a function, well let's just call it function1 again. So function, function1, and inside of this function, maybe we could say print hello world, and then we say return and true. And what this will signify in this function is that the function's over, but we could return maybe printed, or we could return a number or we could return anything but for now we're just going to return true and right down here if we say local return output equals function one and as you'll see if we just print return output just like this and we go into the game as you see it'll print true because the output of the function before is true now I'll show you the same thing. We could print, or we could return uh, done, and we go right into the game, and it says done. So calling functions just like this is pretty cool, but maybe we want to pass something called parameters into the function, and that's just something specific that the computer knows what to do. So as we learned before, print is a function, and the parameter that we pass in is a string value or text and that's whatever we want it to print to the console. Now if we wanted to find our own function with a parameter what we'd say is function function1 or whatever our function name is and then inside of these right here we would say the names of the parameters that we want to take. So maybe when we call function1 we want to take a name and maybe we also want to take a number. So you can have as many parameters as you want inside of here, you just have to separate them with the comma. So we do that and then maybe we could say local name and number equals name plus or name dot dot number so we can combine the name and the number and then we can return that like we learned earlier, we can return name and number. And now when we call the function, we just say local name and number, because that's what our variable will be called, equals function one, 
and see right here it says we have to pass in a name. So my name's Wyatt, so we'll say that. And my favorite number seven, so we can pass that number in. And then if we print what name and number is, it should print out Wyatt seven. But let's see. Oh yeah, see, right there, it printed Wyatt seven. And we can change that number if we want to, the number that we passed into the function. So we could say Wyatt 88. And as you'll see, if we go right back in, yep, it prints Wyatt 88. Functions are a really fundamental concept in programming, so don't forget what they are. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the pastebin link for the code that in this video in the description, and I'll see you later.